السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ لاسٹ ویک ایس اٹ واز اے اسکول ہالیڈے وی ہیڈ پلان ٹو گو ٹو کتھا بائی روڈ ان آر ویکل آئی آس سم آف مائی فرینڈس اباؤٹ کتھا وسٹس دے آل سیڈ وسٹ ٹو کتھا بیکیم چیلنجنگ اینڈ ویری ڈفیکلٹ ایز دا کتھا ویزا از بینگ پرووائڈیڈ اونلی فار دوز ہو آر ہیونگ ہائر کارڈ وچ واز انٹروڈیوسڈ during FIFA World Cup 2022. Some of my friends advised us not to go to Qatar. My friends have also told that many people have been sent back by the officers from Qatar border. They said, as it is a very long journey, they suggested and recommended us to go to Bahrain or UAE, I mean Dubai. But we wanted to go see Qatar as it has got some wonderful development for the FIFA World Cup. Especially, they created a beautiful city from nowhere for the FIFA World Cup. And this country offers a blend of tradition and modernity that's difficult to find elsewhere in the world. So, let me tell you how you can get Qatar on arrival visa easily without much fuss. At first, me and my wife had a thorough research using lots of websites. I am going to tell you the latest update about Qatar on arrival visa. started our long journey from Medina Al Munawwara on 3rd March 2023 Thursday Qatar has a special visa on arrival scheme for residents of GCC countries such as Bahrain Kuwait Oman Saudi Arabia or and UAE if they meet all the eligibility criteria GCC residence entry permit qualified professionals who hold valid residency permit i mean iqama in any GCC country can get visa on arrival in Qatar as per the latest update from 1st february 2023 health insurance is mandatory for all visitors to Qatar Visitors can buy a basic health insurance for 50 Qatar Riyal electronically using the debit card or credit card. They suggested 9 insurance companies. Once you purchase the insurance, they will send you the health insurance immediately to your email. Ministry of Public Health has given around 9 insurance companies. You can purchase your insurance using MOPH website given below. The list of eligible professions was modified in December 2022. The professional title on your iqama should exactly match the list. If you are not sure about your eligibility please call the Qatar government helpline at plus +9744406999 to confirm your eligibility By the way uh, now you are seeing Riyadh the capital of Saudi Arabia alhamdulillah We have covered almost 800 km from Medina Al Munawwara. So we are traveling through Riyadh. Okay, let me tell you that one of the most important thing is uh, the next thing that is hotel booking. You have to book your hotel at Discover Qatar website. 
the hotel booking in discover kata is very very important hotel booking is necessary for nationals of india pakistan iran thailand and ukraine for us sri lankans uh, they don't we don't need a hotel booking but uh, however uh, i book my hotel using discover kata in case if they ask hotel booking actually they ask for the hotel booking from sri lankans as well i don't know but uh, it was not there in the website but still they were asking for the hotel booking in discover kata i do i should say this one if you have a hotel booking in booking.com they do not accept that one at all so you should have your hotel booking at discover kata website only In addition to that, I have also sent an email to the Qatar Embassy uh, and they replied me that I'll be granted visa at the border as I'm having professional iqama and meet all the other requirements. Residents of GCC countries who are employed as qualified professionals and those accompanying them can obtain a visa on arrival for a maximum stay of 30 days in Qatar. However, it is important to note that the visitor should arrive from their country of residence in GCC. For example, a Sri Lankan national who is a resident of Saudi Arabia should be traveling from Saudi Arabia, not from Sri Lanka.
you have to take exit for Qatar. So you know, okay, Salwa, Qatar, UAE. So we have to take exit here. They're going to Qatar, right? Yeah, so we have to take exit now. What does that mean? Hofuf? Yeah, it's a city. Uh, if you want to go Hofuf, you have to go straight. Is it in Qatar? Yeah, if you want to go to the sheep market, you have to, to uh, take the second exit. Understand? That second exit? Okay, let's look at the conditions for Qatar visa on arrival for GCC residents. The visa will only be issued if you meet all the below requirements. Number one, the passport should be valid for at least six months from arrival. Number two, the visitor should have a valid residence permit card, I mean Iqama, issued by GCC country such as Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and UAE. Number three, the GCC residence permit should be valid for at least six months from arrival. Number four, the profession on the Iqama should appear in the list. Number five, the visitor should have a confirmed hotel reservation. Number six, the visitor should be traveling from his country of residence. Number seven, the visitor should have a health insurance as per MOPH guidelines. Down, down. Keep it down. Lift down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again. 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 Check again and check uh, again. Okay. Okay. That's done. Three persons. Three. Yeah. Down here. Sorry. Boom. Fine. Okay. Okay, finally, let's talk about the fees that you have to pay. Uh, the cost of GCC resident visa fee for Qatar is 100 rial, that is almost equivalent to I think uh, 28 US dollar and uh, uh, the fee has to be paid through debit card or the credit card and also the insurance fee that is 50 Qatar rial that you have to purchase medical insurance and one more thing if you are traveling by car like vehicle you have to pay for the vehicle insurance that is for a week it is 145 Qataria. Qatar nationalities, so families, this is a country's Qatar nationalities. So this is the immigration office. 
What does immigration mean? Immigration and immigration means like uh, you can leave from one country to another country. This is the border. I mean, actually, they have to do the border thing here. Yeah. This is Doha, so Alhamdulillah, finally we have entered Doha by road, you know, in my, in my car, actually. So I, my wife, and my daughter, we all three came by road. We have traveled almost 1,500 kilometers, and uh, we started our journey from Medina, Medina al Munawwara, uh, from our home. So we came to Doha. This is city Doha. Uh, the speed limit here is 100 km per hour. But uh, from the immigration office and uh, till here, till the city, and it, the speed was uh, 120 km per hour. It, uh, what I feel the difference between Saudi Arabia and Qatar is the road, I think. Uh, since I have just entered so far, I felt uh, the big difference on the roads. The roads are very neat and uh, it's like water, like smooth, like water actually. I felt uh, like I am just I'm traveling on the water. I felt like that. That's what I wanted to say so far. Inshallah, let me let me explore more about uh, Doha, Qatar, and uh, Doha and other cities. I, I don't think there are big cities, as far as uh, I understand. Doha is the main city, and there are some other places because I have seen in uh, some. Uh, Facebook pictures and posts. Let's see, inshallah. Let me explore uh, about Qatar and update you, inshallah.